Friendly HCXD deployed. What's going on guys? Great Disciple back with another gameplay. And I think the opening clip to the video sums up this game. You are about to watch one of the most impressive gameplays I have ever had in all my time playing Call of Duty. It's close to the highest kills that I've ever earned in a Call of Duty game. And this goes back to Black Ops 1. I mean the gameplay is absolutely shocking. Let me tell you this, and I don't want to do too many spoilers here, but I start off the game 53 and 0. <laughs> I mean, this map, Spire, is probably one of the best design maps I have ever played on in Call of Duty. Let me tell you how good it is. I played this map probably seven times last night, and I dropped four 100 kill games. This one was my most impressive. Okay, so enjoy this game. Let me, let me talk about my setup first. I'm playing, uh, let's see the perks, I'm using Ghost, Scavenger, Dead Silence, Awareness. I have a Simtex grenade. I am running the Razorback with an ELO sight. I'm using Stock and Fast Max, this is hardcore. I feel like that is probably the best setup in the entire game. You guys can argue with me about Fast Hands, but because I use Stock, and this is after Treyarch buffed the Razorback's movement speed, I mean, you move so quick around corners, so I ADS the corners, and I don't really need quick draw and I don't need fast hands. As for uh, score streaks, you've probably already seen, I'm using the Wraith, the Hater, and the Raps. You guys, the Raps, the Raps are mind blowing how good they are. In this game alone, and you're gonna see at the very end, I'm gonna show you the medals. I got 50 kills with the Raps. I mean, those. The ship drops so many balls at a time, and once they hit the ground, they go flying around the map. There is no way for the enemy it, to, to outrun them, and, and I, I got kind of lucky in this, okay, because the enemy team, most of them were not running blind eye or cold-blooded. They didn't care how many times they were going to die. They were just having fun. A lot of them left, and new ones joined in, and I was lucky that way because I, I had a pretty much a full lobby at all times. Now where the game gets really crazy is in the second half. And I'll actually put an annotation on the screen about chaos beginning. You guys have never seen anything like it. I don't know how it happened, but I figured out the spawns on this map very, very quickly. And let me tell you this, if you're ever in a position where your team has pushed them out of their spawn flag on A and C, their, their enemy's gonna spawn in the stairwell. And you can work both stairwells back and forth, back and forth. And you're going to get a really good example of this when the hater goes up. I made a couple of mistakes. I mean, I could have got the nuclear. I think I died on a 26 or a 27 at the beginning. It's because I wasn't patient enough. I should have waited just a little bit longer, but I rushed into the spawn, causing the enemy to spawn behind me, and I got shot in the back. So that's probably the only downside to the game is that I did not come away with the nuclear. But I did get that kill chain. And that kill chain was amazing. They literally spawned right in front of me in that stairwell. And you can go back and watch it. You're going to see it again later on. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the other maps. I was going to put up a couple other ones today. I have an amazing gameplay on uh, Knockout. Over 80 kills. I got a great game on Rift. It was, I think, around 75, 76 kills. That one could have been a lot better. But the enemy spawned behind me. I should have broke 100 on that. I played Verge a couple of times, actually one and a half times. The first game I went 48-12, which actually I considered it to be a pretty good game because those were all gun kills. That map is huge. I don't know if you guys have played Verge. I think it's a World at War map and I never played World at War, so I have no idea and there's all these underground tunnels. It is confusing and the map, at first you don't think it's that big, but oh my goodness, there are so many paths. I get confused when I'm down in those little tunnels. so. I'm gonna try to get you something there. I, I figure if I got a gameplay of say over 60 kills on that map, it'd be worth uploading. So I'm gonna keep on working on that. But my favorite map, I think in the entire game is Spire. Next to Spire in the DLC, I would say that Knockout has the best flow. 
I, I could actually see Knockout being a competitive map because there are different lanes of traffic that, that you can run, but uh, the flanks, there's only a few routes you can go. So it's a controlled map, which I like. It's not like Verge where there's like 15 ways to flank on the right hand side of the map. <laughs> it gets a little confusing. As for Rift, I mean Rift is growing on me. There's some great nade spots. It really comes down to how the enemy team is playing. If they're just sitting behind head glitches the whole time, it's a real frustrating map to play. So, kind of hit and miss there. Now the other thing, I played with the Vesper. You guys, the Vesper is back. I think they removed the entire nerf to the recoil. I played with the Vesper without a grip and nearly dropped a nuclear on Breach. And I'll bring you that gameplay because I was messing around with it. Uh, I, all I had on it was quick draw. I didn't even have fast mags and I almost dropped that nuke. So be looking for that. So I suggest you guys go out and play with the Vesper again. Put on grip and fast mags and go to work because I think it's a viable option now. Didn't get to play with the Weevil much. I tried out the CUDA a little bit. CUDA works great still in hardcore. Um, and then the other one's the Pharaoh. Everybody's talking about the Pharaoh. I think the Pharaoh was pretty much changed for the core mode though. Because in hardcore, it was always great. I, I don't know how it would have been changed. But this Razorback, I, I was worried about it whenever the um, the nerf notes came out for hardcore, how they decreased the one-shot kill range. And in the beginning, I noticed it a little bit, but overall, I didn't have a problem with it because I, I usually shoot guys twice, as it is, just to be sure that I'm killing them. And this goes all the way back from my other gameplay, so it hasn't really changed much. If anything, they improved the Razorback because of that movement speed. You guys, the gun is so dominant in the hardcore mode. I encourage y'all, if y'all haven't bought the DLC or the Season Pass, and I know a lot of people were turned off by the first DLC, the DLC 2 is probably the best DLC I've ever played on, and that, that's even compared to the first DLC in Black Ops 2, because I love the DLC in Black Ops 2. But this one, man, Knockout and Spire. Spire alone is worth the purchase, but Knockout's great, Rift is fun. Verge, like I said, I've only played it one and a half times, so just make sure, all right? If you guys have confidence that you can get these wraps, I'm telling you right now, you have got to play with wraps, because once they start coming in, I mean, it is shocking how many kills they get. I used to get so mad, and you can go back and look at my older gameplays about the wraps, how they wouldn't kill anybody, and the ships got knocked out of the sky, man. They have buffed this thing. I'm telling you, it is the next swarm, like in Black Ops 2, all right? So you guys go check that out. I have a couple gameplays coming. I'm not gonna try to flood your inbox too much. I wanna show you the knockout game next. I'll probably put that up tomorrow and then the Rift game the next day. I have a bunch of other videos on their way. I'll probably move those off, so be looking for them. As always, you guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button. This gameplay is shockingly good. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what your thoughts are so far on this DLC, all right? And tell me, have you tried out the Vesper, the Weevil, the Pharaoh, the Razorback? I haven't tried out any of the assault rifles yet. And I'll tell you, you know, if there is one map where an assault rifle could really go to work, it would be Spire, because there are a lot of long range sight lines. My suggestion to you is stay away from B on Spire. There's no reason to ever go by it. Stay on the flank where the stairs are. Never go into B because there's always guys up top looking down and they're jumping in from that open area. You're gonna get shot, you're gonna die. You gotta play off to the side where the stairs are. It's more controlled, there's more cover. It's easier to maneuver the map as well, all right? All you Xbox guys, man, get ready because this map is so much fun. And I, you know, I have all these other gameplays on Spire, like I said, and I'll slowly bring them out to you. I don't wanna flood your inbox too much because I'm already, this already my second one, all right? So again, you guys, thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up button. I don't think anybody has dropped more kills than this so far on the map. All right, you guys, subscribe for more. See you in the next one. Bye.